get started on our class today. So find your opening shavasana. Take your time to settle down. If you want, if there's any pressure on the low back, you can bend the knees. Come up and falling towards each other. Tuck the chin down a little bit. Hands can be palm face open by your side to receive or to your forehead. Come on, focus on that breath. Tuning out for the rest of the day. Dedicating this time to yourself and to your practice. I have a short reading from the top of the yoga sutras called Asmita, which means distorted sense of self. Asmita, meaning I am this is having a distorted image of ourselves that does not match reality. It is either egotism or insecurity, both of which are forms of delusion because they do not represent the truth. The truth is that we are no better or worse than anyone else. Asmita is a mental emotional affliction because it makes us think that we are our body and that we are our mind, and therefore we are our thoughts and emotions. Causes us to believe that our being is limited by things like our name, occupation, likes, dislikes. Yoga teaches us that our exterior shell, it's called the body, causes a pure inner light of awareness that is our true permanent nature. Carrying that off the ground with you. And especially with this yoga practice on the mat, we try to tune into that pure and light of awareness. The only thing that never changes. All right, we're going to keep these arms bent. We'll bend the knees and let them jump side to side, practicing those arms. And pull those knees up to the armpits, grab half the baby. We're going to do an opening half the baby here. So tune in with those hips, tune in with the spine. We'll do happy baby again at the end. So take notice of how you feel. Opening that deep space. Maybe starting at the dry breath, trying to make that ocean sound. And then we'll take a certified figure four. So take your right ankle to your left knee. You're going to bring that right shin close to your chest as possible. And then maybe your right palm presses the right knee out. Just gently. Maybe you can rock side to side of your foot. So it's okay. Breathe into the groove. Keep your spine on the mat. Last exhale, pull that shin closer and release other ankle to the right knee. Supine figure four, other side, gently bringing that shin towards the chest. 
You can try placing the left palm on the left knee and just guide it out away from your body as you push in closer. Maybe you like Romans like that. All right, release, and then we'll grab the backs of the thighs. Rock and roll up to a seated position. A couple times, massaging those muscles on both sides of the spine. And then find your sit bones. We'll do cross legged sit. Um, so, wherever you're comfortable, we'll find those sit bones. Sometimes it's nice to move, move the knee up to the sit bones. It really tries to be grounded. Reach the right hand, sit the bones, walk the spine, walk the ground the head. Hands can be pumped up and pumped down on the knees. Close the eyes if that's comfortable. We're going to bring it to the neck. So let the head be heavy. And let the head keep going in circles both directions. You notice the spot that feels nice. Hang out there. Using that breath, closing the eyes to tune out that sensory input. Don't tune into your body. Tune into that neck, keep the spine straight. All right, next time the chin comes down towards the chest, we'll take our two hands and clasp the fingers. Add a little bit of weight to the back of your head, shifting the back of the neck to something that's comfortable. You're still so tall to the spine. And we'll let the left ear drop over towards the left shoulder, bring to the side of the right side of the neck. And then you can reach that right arm up and go to the floor. And reach through the big toes. See if you can feel the stretch down the arm. And then release the other side. So let that right ear go towards the right um, shoulder. And then if it's comfortable, lift me up that left arm. Reach through the fingertips, engage the torso even. Mm -hmm. All right, back to center, nice and neutral. Take a spinal twist. So inhale, bring the hands up, and exhale, twist to the right. Left hand, right knee, right hand drops behind you. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, twist, chin over towards the right shoulder. Pull your belly button up and in. Use your hands, add more twist. And release, inhale, hands to the back of the head. And exhale, go to the right, your left side. Okay, your face, try to let your breath guide you. Instead of the moment that my cues are, try to feel it out with your own body. All right, let's release back to center. Release those feet. We'll take a butterfly pose. So the outer ends of the feet come together. The inner sides of the feet um, are going to open up. Just give yourself a little foot massage on the crown here. And then we're going to take a butterfly pose. So either heels can be close to the body or part of the knee. You can try it out and see what you Inhale, find some length in the spine. And exhale, bow the chest forward down to those feet. Butterfly pose. Try to get those knees closer to the mat, breathing into your hips, into the low back. All right, inhale over. Up, we're going to release the left leg long and then bring the right heel into your body as close as you can here. Get a little shoulder over there today. So from here, the move in the forward fold with the bind. So we're going to start with wiggling your right shoulder, come the right knee. And then your thumb is going to go down 
and then palm face up, wrap on your low back, or grab your shirt. And then inhale, bring the left hand as far up as you can, and then grab your shirt, or maybe you get that space to find. Wherever you're at, inhale, find a little bit of lift and length through the chest, and exhale, fold over the left leg, feel the right shoulder, both the hand, laying the low back. Reaching the top of your head towards the top of your left hip. All right, slowly inhale, release, lift up. You're going to take the right knee down to the just let it fall out to the side. Left leg will come out 45 degrees. And we'll get into the low back. So we'll take this left forearm, sweep it across the floor over to the left. Inhale, open the chest, right hand reaches up and over, right knee, tries to pop left toes. Open that low back on the right side. Feel the ribs open, the lungs expanding. Tune into that space. And release back to center. Then switch the leg out. So, right leg long in front of you, left heel comes into the body, turn, squeeze it nice and tight. Same two poses, other side. So, first, you have to wiggle that left shoulder in front. Yeah, move that your own face, guys. So, get that shoulder in front, and then left hand reaches toward the low back. Big reach with that right hand, try to grab all the way behind you if you have the bind. Inhale, find a little bit of length through the spine. Now we're going to move this forward. Exhale, fold, surrender. Side. Notice what you're noticing. Inhale, come back up. Let's take that low back stretch. So right foot goes out 45 degrees. Left heels into the body and the knee falls out. Again, getting those sit bones down to the mat. And we'll bring the right forearm down, sweep it over towards right shin. Inhale to open that chest to the side wall and your left hand reaches up and over, trying to find those toes. Beautiful job. Feel that low back on the left side. Expansion through that side body. Let your gaze be wherever it's comfortable. All right, release back to center. Your boat pose, warm up the core. So make your way into boat. I like to start with my heels on the mat and then begin to lean back with a really straight spine. So those heels pop up off the floor. Move the legs together, still lifting through that chest space, hands down by the side. Inhale, canoe pose, let your spine find the mat. Exhale, crunch back to both. So 10 total. Inhale, find length. Exhale, squeeze up at your own pace. Your inhale, your exhale. The breath will guide you. This is lower you go, more control, harder it will be. Try to stay focused. And take whatever you want to work in you. Feel the best for your body. The core warming up, the hip flexors. All right, last one. Grab behind the thighs, rock again, all the way to standing this time. Coming up to the top of our mat and mountain pose. Ground through both feet. Open up those foot chakras so you can imagine this eyeballs on the top of our feet opening up. Send the energy down, hands down by the side, tall of your head, thumb of your head, and just a little bit tall. Measure three, we're just going to do inhale, bring the hands overhead, big reach. Exhale, thumbs down to your heart space. Two more on the wall. Inhale, reach the front up, gathering. Exhale, seal it to the foot. Last time. Good 
Beautiful. This time we'll take it down. So inhale, hands over the head. Exhale, and jump the hips forward, forward. Inhale, half lift, shine front and forward. Exhale, take the hands, step back, plank, close, hold, plank. So make sure those hands are brighter with the shoulders for the strong support system. Press through those palms. Lower the hips a little, tuck your tailbone down. Stay here, or we're going to reach our left toes off the mat and right hand forward. Balance, plank, close. Try it out. Keep reaching the palm. And release. Take a breath. And then same thing, other side. The toes pick up. Left hand reaches forward. Listen to that body, try to balance this posture. And release, lower onto your belly. Let your chest fall to the inside of the arms. Let your hands be right in the shoulders. Kick the feet into the mat, straighten those legs. Inhale, open the lower to straighten the low back. And exhale, press back, child pose. Find your length in the spine. Really send the hips back to the heels. Tune into your breath. Once again. Maybe in this space we can Something you hope to manifest. Something you hope to get out of practice to. Smile to the intention, send it out with an exhale, and walk the hands over to the right side body stretch, reach through the left fingers, send the weight back to that left. Walk the hands through center side body stretch, other side, reach to the right fingertips, and the lean back to that right hand. Opening that right shoulder. All right, we go to tabletop. The hips to stack over the knees, hands under the shoulders. Take a couple cat cow here. Inhale, drop the belly, knees goes up. Exhale, arch the spine with the head naked. Take these at your own pace. Tuning into that spine. Use your breath. Exaggerate the movement by bending the elbows. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Easy your practice. All right, find that neutral spine. And then we're going to, in tabletop, and then we're going to open the right hip, so take some hip circles here. Opening the right knee out 90 degrees, and then taking the knee in both directions. All right, inhale that right leg long behind you, kick the heel to the back of the room. Tuck your left toes and on an exhale, three-legged down dog, hips to the sky, stretch out the back of the left leg. You can continue to open the right hip if you want to bend that knee with the foot drop over to the right, or left, sorry. And still breathing to the back of the left leg. Press through the fingers, roll the shoulder or the armpits in to face each other. All right, exhale, bring the knee to the chest, plant the foot between the hands, lower down to a low lunge. We'll take one breath per movement in this low lunge today. So we're going to go through low lunge as your inhale. Exhale, half split, straighten into right leg. So it might take a couple rounds for you to find that placement where you can flow with ease, protecting your left knee. Exhale, you really try to get into that straight leg stretch. Inhale, reach the hands up. 
It's a balancing posture. We're warming up the legs. Keep going using your pace that you're at, your breath and breathing. All right, next time you come forward, we'll tuck that back toe and lift up to high lunge. Get that hip flexor to open on the left side. Pull your core in. That Mula and Uddiyana Banda. So you're pulling up from the core, releasing some of the weight from the legs. Settle down a little deeper in that front knee. And then we'll exhale, plant the hands. Step back to your plank pose. You can take it through your first Chaturanga Vinyasa or skip it and mean down dog. Always have option to rest in down dog or rest in child's pose. We'll drop to our knees, coming to tabletop one last time. Take that left knee out this time. Open the hip. Similar to doing three-legged down dog and opening the hip, but it's a little easier on the shoulders. And tabletop. Try to go nice and wide, both directions, even it out. And then we'll send that left heel straight to the back of the room. Tuck the right toes, exhale, three-legged down dog. Lift the hips, send them back. Settle that right heel to the earth. Heel doesn't want to touch the earth, the heel is reaching. You can bend that left knee if you want to continue to open that hip, letting the foot fall in the air over to the earth. Strong through those shoulders, let the gaze be back. And exhale, low lunge. Bring your left foot to the front of the mat. Drop right knee. Same thing, you guys know where we're going. Inhale, sweep the hands forward. Exhale, half splits. So it might take a couple rounds. Find that adjustment where you feel nice and stable and you can just focus on the transitions. Every time you're at the top of your inhale or exhale, try to really get into that stretch there. Use the breath. Nice job. All right, after the last exhale, when you inhale, come forward, high lunge. Plant through that left foot, come up onto the ball of the right foot. Settle into that front knee. We want a deep bend. We want to build the leg strength here. Open that right hand flexor. Exhale, settle the hands, step it back, chaturanga, or lower to your belly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, we mean down dog. Always letting you move through that at your own pace. We mean down dog. Look at the space between the hands. Bend your knees on the bottom of an exhale. Walk step or hop to the front of your neck. <clears throat> when you get there, inhale, half lift, shine the heart forward. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands down by the heart center, through heart center, down by the side. Inhale, hands sweep overhead. Exhale, move that way up, scroll with forward. Inhale, half lift, shadow back forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, take it through chatter on the vinyasa. Or skip it, knee in, down, dog. Always at your own pace. All right, inhale through the nose, open up, exhale, release your knee. Inhale, right foot, high to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, give it a tap. Inhale, the foot goes high. Second exhale, knee to chest, foot nice and tight, go drop the foot. Inhale, the foot goes high. Third exhale, knee goes across the body, left elbow or left armpit. See how high you can lift it. Inhale, the foot high. Exhale, plant the foot, come up high lunge. Sweep the hands forward. Deep bend in that front knee. Use these transitions as part of practice. How smooth you can you get from one foot to the next. Exhale, easy twist. Left hand on the inside of right foot, right hand high to the sky. You use that 
or to face the windows, the chest face the windows, yes. Stay here or side plank, make sure you're stable through left shoulder, right foot stacks on top of left. Reach up with the right hand. Yogi's choice to lift the top leg or drop the bottom knee. Return to your easy twist, bring that right foot back to the front of the mat. Yes. And then we're lifting to the high lunge of prayer hand twist. So you're going to bring that left elbow up to the knee. Prayer, palms come together. We're still in this twisted position, grounding through right foot. Beautiful job. Stay here, open the arms, spread those arms, left hand down, right hand up. Nice job. Next pose, your ball tap moon, bounce off that left foot into the air, left hand in front, right toes. Nice job. Maybe there's a block under your right hand or left hand. All right, we're going to drop it back to revolve triangle. So your feet land to heel to heel alignment. Right hand stays lifted, but your left hand comes in to the inside of your right foot. Revolve triangle. Beautiful job. Feel that IT down on the right side. And then release the right hand to the floor. Pyramid pose. Inhale, find lift and length through the spine. Use your core to lift. Exhale, forward fold. You can do that a couple times if you like. Inhale, lift. And exhale, get deeper into the And slight stretch, pyramid pose. Feel the entire length of the right leg. Relax your neck. All right, standing splits, left heel goes high, ground the right foot. Try to get the top of your head down towards the right foot. Square your hips. Release that neck. You don't have to hold up the head. Standing splits. And then last one, warrior three, lift the chest. Kicking through left heel, hands can be out heart center, last pose. You got it, grounding through right foot. And release hands to the floor, step it back, take through your toddler on the vinyasa, or skip it, and meet in down lot. Maybe take a sip of water. We're going to meet in the lizard pose. So inhale that right foot high to the sky. And exhale, let the foot in on the inside of your right knee. Roll on to the outer edge of your right foot. Settle down to your lizard pose. That could look any different way, whether that's on your palms or any forearms. We relax into lizard, bringing our heart rates back, tuning into that right side. Every exhale, release a little more tension from the hips. Really using that, the fact that we're already warm up to get deeper into the stretch. All right, gently press the hands into the mat to lift back up. Right foot goes back to meet the left for down dog. All right, we're going to take you through one sunny back down dog. Use your breath, one breath per movement. Bend the knees, look at the space between the hands. Bottom of an exhale, walk super hop to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. In over, swan dive all the way up to standing, hands come overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down to the heart. Inhale, hands come back overhead. Exhale, hinge up the hips, forward fold. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, take it through chatter on the outside. Still using one breath for movement. Getting ready for left side.
Inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, or maybe the armpit, lift it high. Inhale, the leg goes high. Second exhale, knee to chest, pull it nice and tight up to the core. Inhale, the leg goes high. Third exhale, knee goes across the body, lift it up to that right armpit. Inhale, the foot high. Exhale, high lunge. Plant the left foot, sweep the right hands forward. Deep bend in that front knee. Grounding through left foot, you're on the ball of the right foot. Exhale, easy twist. Right hand comes to the inside of left foot. The left hand stays high in the sky, so those arms are open. Take a look at that right wrist. Make sure it's a little bit in front of that right shoulder so we're protected as we go back to side plank. Left hand, your left foot to stack on top of right foot. Yogi choice, maybe you lift that top leg or lower bottom knee. Use those obliques, lots going on. Exhale, the foot comes back to that high lunge position. And then we lift the chest, prayer hands, right elbow, left knee. Find that position, really use the press of your palms to find that spinal twist. Open the arms. Revolved half moon, right hand lands in front of left toes, lift that back heel. You are all, every limb is reaching as long as it can. Maybe there's a block on your right hand. Nice job. Lower back to revolve, triangle, drop your right foot. Let your right hand slide into your left foot. Your left hand stays where it was, lifted in the sky, try and straighten into both legs. Nice job. Release pyramid pose, bring the left hand down. Check on that, um, the heels here. Make sure heels in your alignment, back toes out at an angle. Inhale, find lift and length through the chest and spine. Maybe you use a block under the hands. Exhale, fold, deepest pose. Intense leg stretch here. Breathe into pyramid. Let the forehead come down towards the shin. Hands supporting you. All right, move that weight forward. Standing splits, kick that right heel up. Try to keep the hips square to the mat. Squeeze your glutes together, release that neck. Warrior three, last one, guys, you got it. Prayer hands or yogi's choice with those arms. Ground through the left foot. Leg strength here. And then plant the hands. Step back, take it through chaturanga vinyasa or skip it, knee it down, dog. We're gonna take a rest, so use your strength to make it back to down, dog. And then drop to the knees. We're gonna come to Frog pose. So we're going to open the hips really wide on our mat. So you probably want to turn the all the way face the windows. We're done with that. Look at side. So try to get your knees as wide as you can, but your body will tell you where to stop. Press the insides of the shins into the mat. We're still active in the core, use your belly button to pull up to the spine. And at any time, feel free to move from palms to forearms, forearms. And you can also move the hips forwards and backwards. You'll find lots of different angles for this intense growing pose. Keep using your breath. Maybe wiggle the hips around, find another angle. We're still going to be here for 30 more seconds. All right, 
Gently, so gently we wiggle out of this. So first bring the weight into those hands and wiggle the knees together. Nice and slow to come out of that. Feel the rebound there. It's a really big stretch. And then we'll come back to face the long side of our mat. Come to puppy pose. So bring the hands out front. We'll breathe into the front of our shoulders. Let the forehead come down to the mat. Keep the hips high so it's different than child's pose. And we're really opening the pose of shoulders. If you don't feel that stretch, maybe come up onto your fingertips. Add some height to open that shoulder space. All right, go ahead and lift up out of that. Come to lying on your belly. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of low back strengthening. So we're gonna do two bow poses. That's where you lift those heels towards the glutes and grab your feet. So uh, I can grab a strap if anybody needs it or take whatever back bend is more safe for you today. So go ahead and kick those heels towards the glutes, grab the feet. Let your gaze be straight. Try not to look side to side on this pose. And on a strong inhale, lift and kick, lift and kick. Lift the chest, lift the thighs, kick harder into the feet. Lift the gaze. Use that arch in your low back. Keep arching, lift higher and release. You can windshield wipe with those legs or the feet side to side, one ear on the mat, or maybe your chin on the mat. All right, setting up for that second bow pose. You know where you went in that first one, so the second we're gonna get a little bit deeper. So really trying to use this low back. These muscles are the ones that are lifting you up here. So go ahead and grab those feet, gazes forward. Let's take an exhale here, get everything out. Inhale, lift and kick, lift and kick, keep kicking. Arch that spine, gazes up, shoulders pulled back. Kick harder. And release, nice job. One more time. Windshield wipe of those feet side to side. A little bit of a low back release. And then let those legs go long. We're gonna take a shoulder stretch while we're down here. So we're gonna start with this right arm going out perpendicular from our bodies. And begin to roll over onto the right shoulder. Try to get that left hip to stack on top of right hip. You can bend the top leg, press the foot into the mat behind the right knee. And then left hand stays on the mat to help you stay balanced. Or maybe right hand or left hand comes to left hand. Opening that shoulder space, softening into it. All right, roll back to center. Find a neutral spot. Bless you. A moment to recollect, center, and then left side. Getting into that heart space. So reach with those left fingers, roll up onto the left hip, right hip stacks directly on top. Yogi's choice with that right hand supporting you, or it can be on the hip. Or your right hand can reach all the way back, trying to grab the left finger. The stretches from the chest all the way down through the bicep. Maybe you can reach through those fingers.
gently come back to center. Bring those hands under the shoulders. We're gonna push through the tabletop, coming back to our down dog. Take any little movements you need to get there. Stretch out that low back. And we'll meet in down dog. One more, a little bit shorter flow. So find that energy. We're standing back up. Beautiful job. All right. Inhale, right foot high to the sky. Exhale, plant the foot will come up warrior two this time. Car wheel the left hand back, the right hand forward. Settle into warrior two. There's a lot going on in this pose alone before we even move. Trap that right knee out. Open the hips. Mulata Uddiyana Bandha is pulling your core up and your belly button back. Exhale, extend inside angle. Right elbow, right knee, left hand reaches up and over one long line from heel to fingertips. Use the core to inhale, reverse warrior, left hand down, right hand up. Open that rib cage, reach back with the right hand. All right, exhale, extended side angle. This time we're gonna take a bind, working on those shoulders. So wiggle your right shoulder down under the right knee. And then try to get that right hand, palm face down, reach it to the low back. Inhale, left hand reaches high and tries for the bind. Beautiful job. All right, stay here or bird of paradise. Walking your left foot to the front of the mat, grounding through left foot. Come up to kickstand with the right toes, eventually maybe lifting right foot off of the mat. Bird of paradise, find your drifty. So if I'm moving, go look at me. Grounding through that left foot, you want to come to standing with that bind. Big opening in the shoulders. Eventually you kick into that right foot. Yes, Eric, you got it. Kick into that right foot. You look like a bird of paradise. Beautiful job. Drop it down. And we're going to come to the wide legged forward fold. So bring those feet long side on the mat. Bring the toes into pigeon. Wherever you're at, if you fold it over or standing up, it's all good. Inhale, find some length in the spine. And exhale, forward fold. Top of the head reaches towards the mat here. Release out that neck. You can shake the head yes and no. You can grip the mat underneath you using that grip of your hands on the floor to pull deeper into this stretch. Wide-legged forward fold. Try pulling the weight into the balls of the feet a little bit. So if you balance, belly button pulls up and in. Good job. All right, last exhale here. Walk those hands back to frame in front of your mat, your right foot. Step it back, take it through your chaturanga vinyasa, or skip it, knee in down dog. Same thing, left side. Inhale, left foot high to the sky. Exhale, plant the foot, come up, warrior two, let that right hand cartwheel to the back. A nice opening posture here. Settle the shoulders out of the ears. Ears, track that left knee out, heel to heel alignment. Deep bend in that front knee. Try to keep these warrior two legs as we flow. Exhale, extended side angle. Right hand reaches up and over. One long line, heel to fingertips. Next inhale, reverse warrior. Use your core to lift you, don't lose the legs. Open that left rib cage. Exhale, second extended side angle, taking that bind. Work in those shoulder openers today. So take it at your own pace when you have that bind and you feel stable. You can move 
into your bird of paradise. Walking right foot to the front of the mat this time. And stop, guys. We're just working on that bind today, opening that shoulder, trying to open the chest to the side. Nice job. Flex those toes up. You got it. Oh, this makes me so happy. Turn and release. Take it down, wide leaning forward forward. Yes. Taking it to our second and final. Wherever you're at, inhale, find some length in the spine. And exhale, release. So, different wide leaning forward fold this time. You have a favorite, go ahead and take it. Some options are grounding or grounding the outside of the calves, pulling the head closer to the mat. We've kind of used a lot of shoulders today, so if you want to clasp those fingers overhead, getting a shoulder stretch, last shoulder stretch. And then trying to move the weight into the balls of the feet. Balancing act. All right, we'll release out of that. Come out of wide leg forward fold. We'll lean on our backs. So get that out of it there. Safely. One more vertebrae at a time. And then hug both knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. Wrap the forearms around the shin. Squeeze into a nice tight little ball. Massaging those organs, maybe rocking side to side. All right, second happy baby of class. Go ahead and grab the outsides and the insides of the feet, and then feel how much more open we are than we were 15 minutes ago. Second happy baby. Try to pull those knees sides of your rib cage here without lifting your tailbone off the mat. Keep your shoulders on the mat, back of your neck on the mat. This stretch elongates our spine and opens the hips. All right, we'll turn it into a supine twist. So bring those knees back to center and then let them fall over to the right. Put those hips along the way. Bring the hips back to the center of the mat just so that your left hip is stacked directly on top of the right hip. Really helps us get into the spinal twist. Cactus your left arm. Gaze goes left. Maybe you wrap your left foot around the bottom of your right leg to keep it from lifting. Really use this pose of gravity to surrender into the twist. Ringing out our spine one last time. Deepest twist of class. Gently coming back to center. Find a nice neutral spine. And then supine twist other side. So it's a preferred way to get into the twist. Go ahead and take that. But I like to bring the knees up to the chest. Let them fall over to the left. Wrap the right foot around that left leg somewhere to have a little grip. Cactus the right arm. Gaze goes to the right. Tailbone through the crown of the head. Try to soften a little bit, just a little bit more. Coming back to center. Find that neutral spine on the mat again. 
And then we're gonna take our inversion. So kick those heels up to the sky. We'll start with a shoulder stand. So press those hands into the mat, begin to wiggle the hips up to the sky, eventually catching your low back. Wiggle those elbows closer together underneath you. Yogi's choice for the legs today. You can do shoulder stand with butterfly, with splits, with straight legs up to the sky. Find a pose and hold it for five. Very intentional. Inhales and exhales without letting go. When you're ready, plow pose, drop the feet overhead. Big low back stretch. So this is an intense pose, be careful with plow. Try to get the hips to stack over the shoulders. Lift your hips a little higher. Pull your chest up to the chin, clasp your hands underneath you. Feel the constriction in your breathing. That's okay. Try to straighten into the knees and plow pose. And then if you're feeling up for it, death man's pose, dropping the knees towards your ears, trying to cut off your sound. Super funny feeling. Only works if you're super duper open in that low back, don't push it. And then very gently we roll down one vertebrae at a time. Use your hands to guide you. Let the tailbone come down last, massaging that spine. And then at this time, I invite you for a full minute to take any last poses or movements that you need to get in, to get out, play around, tune, tune into your body. What does it need? Knowing that we will find stillness after this. So anything else? A few more breaths to really settle down into the space where you will feel comfortable for a few minutes with meditation. So sitting on the first shavasana. Those hands can be down on the side, palm face up, or left hand on the heart. Try to ignore those beeping sounds outside. And welcome to Shabbat.
yourself up to a comfortable seated position. You need sitting cross-legged. Gentle bow of the head. You can close the eyes if that's comfortable. Hands resting on the knees. Last inhale together. Reach the hands on the head. Exhale the thumbs down to your third eye center. Thank you for showing up with me today. The light in me sees an all this alive from every single one of you. Namaste. Namaste.